I'm here rejecting a big section of the high tops curriculum, namely their position on intersection, intersectionality and that all relationships are struggles for power. This is not an ideology that belongs in middle schools. In some instances, when we go to middle school, they have a class that's called um, Pathways to Racial Literacy. And so it is, you know, learning a lot about race, ethnicity, so on and so forth. We come in and we teach for three days. That, that class, they can, parents are not allowed to opt their children out of. Um, I'm here to speak about the high tops curriculum called intersectionality, privilege, and microaggression that's being pushed onto our middle school students. Uh, we're here to ensure our kids get an education that meets state mandates and respect the value of our community not to indoctrinate them with divisive ideologies. The state mandate we're supposed to follow emphasize, emphasize diversity, equity, and inclusion. They're about understanding and respecting different culture and backgrounds. But what High Tops is offering is far from this. Their curriculum isn't about exploration and appreciation. It's about dividing our kids into categories of privilege and oppressed. This isn't a departure from our mandates. It's a complete contradiction. The backbone of the high tops curriculum is troubling. It's steeped in theories like critical theory, postmodernism, critical race theory, and queer theory. These aren't just academic concepts. They're loaded with ideological baggages. They promote division and conflict, teaching our kids to see each other not as individuals, but as re representative of oppressive or oppressed groups. This isn't education, it's indoctrination. What's the end goal of pushing these theories onto middle schoolers? Is it to make them question and dismantle the very fabric of our society as preached in these ideologies? But at what cost? We're risking the creation of perpetual conflict, pitting one identity against another. For what? So that our country can be divided and weakened? This content is not suitable for middle school students. It's complex, it's contentious, and frankly, it's not what our kids need to be learning at this stage of their lives. Thank you. Parents, we need to take a stand against this. Our children deserve an education that builds them up. Teacher, teach them respect and understanding and prepare them for the real world. Not one that tears them down and divide them. It's time to reject the high tops curriculum and look for alternatives that truly align with our state mandates and our community value. For those interested in further details on points I've raised, visit prepyes.org, P-R-E-P-Y-E-S dot O-R-G, where you can find more in-depth explanation regarding this issue. Thank you. Uh, this high, high top hiring thing, um, I agree the sex education and LGBTQ community needs to be protected and needs to be discussed, those are the topic. But the intersectionality, from my uh, personal experience, from my cultural experience, that's not something that we should bring to children at this age.